Now, before we begin, I just want to dedicate this whole game and guide to my incredible cousin, Dominic Mortimer, who sadly passed away last year. Uh, Life is Strange was his absolute favourite series, and I know he would have completely loved this game too, like we all have. So this one goes out to him. So rest in peace, Dom. And as always, two fantastic people who continue to watch and interact with the channel, a seriously huge thank you as well. The love is big right here. So let's go ahead and do this thing. Hey, hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with, as always, another 100% achievement guide and walkthrough. And this time we are getting it all in the incredible new Life is Strange True Colours. Now this was developed by Deck9 Games, published by Square Enix, and is available for £49.99 slash $59.99, which is a fair hefty whack to be honest, but hopefully sales and Game Pass will come its way very soon. Now, big shout out to Square Enix for not providing me an early access code. Instead, I bought this just to give you this walkthrough and guide anyway. <laughs> well, not bitter. But we play as Alex Chen, who, as in previous entries, has these unexplained but weirdly cool abilities, which are great for us a lot, but probably must be held from the inside for them. Uh, this time, Alex can absorb, manipulate, and experience the strong emotions of other people. So if someone's really angry, well, damn bitch, you best believe she's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> Uh, but there is way more to the story as a small town's dark, deep secrets begin to unravel. Very interesting. Now, the gameplay is, of course, similar to previous entries as well. A lot of walking, talking, and montessori whatever the hell that is. But I've done a full walkthrough, so hopefully you can just enjoy it as a slow pace with no pause in, and we can enjoy it together. Also, I've done this in chapters rather than one long video, so expect a new chapter every day, or even maybe more. And achievements-wise, just as we begin here, achievements-wise, again, just like previous entries, we get a lot from just collecting things. This time they're called memories in this game. Timestamps below, but very hard to miss. So there's five collectibles in each chapter, and no missables at all in this one. And we're looking at around two or less hours to get chapter one done. So, with that being said then, let us begin. And we're obviously going to start with this nice, enjoyable cutscene. Where Alex already looks like she kind of wants to spit in the face of Dr. Lin, which... Well, the questions, yeah. I'm, I'm there. I'm there with you, Al. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people. No, I'll be dealing with chimpanzees and dolphins. Who the hell do you think we're serving? Dr. Stupid Lin? About your... shoes? Oh, the fact that I poop in my sleep or the... No, sorry, no, wrong one. Wrong question. Wrong problem. With everything that has happened... I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. And so then, let us begin. So we are on to chapter one, side A. We're coming to a lovely little town right in the Rocky Mountains called, uh, uh, what was it again? Haven Springs. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's good. And it looks goddamn pretty, to be honest. The game looks spectacular. Cannot beat that at all. Alex is looking good. And as we begin, we're just going to go ahead, walk on the bridge. Oh, look at that. And, ah. Uh, See, just getting a lot of, uh, no issues, that was me just, I just wanted to spin around. I'll see if I could spin around, but I can't. You can't spin right round, baby, right round, just walk to the bridge and meet your brother. Yeah, so obviously, as usual, just an introduction, you can move the right stick there to uh, move the camera. And you can click the right stick button in as well to sort of snap it to whatever you're facing. 
Easy, obviously, just like all the other ones as well. Everything's pretty easy. They're nice and flowery here, aren't they? If you're, if you're allergic to flowers, you'd be dead by now. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to bring you the grim news, but, well, at least you'll die with that mountain view. Well, yeah, that's nice. Uh, so I'm not sure if, when we're looking at the mountains, you can actually press the B button to go back. Um, it, it took around 20 or 30 seconds, but by the time I... Yes, in fact, we can. We can press the B button to nip back there. So, happy days. Now we're going to meet Gabe. Obviously, a lot more walking, talking, and montessori is going to be happening. Um, so, yeah, let's just enjoy. And you got to hug. you got to hug a man. You gotta always hug. Hug your bros and hug your sisters. If not, then you must not love each other, right? Just joking. <laughs> I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> oh, is crushing my ribs still part of the protocol? <laughs> it's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. It's all grown up, and I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Hell yeah, let's rock and roll. I don't know why I said that. Me neither. But I love the enthusiasm. Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey. Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Laith, owner of the flower shop and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. Oh. Wow, she's a uh, handsy. Eyes and hands up here, Granny, thanking you. you. Told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Welcome to Haven. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find a prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> hey Gabe. Riley, meet my sister Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like I work too hard or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? Now, of course, as usual with any dialogue options, there's nothing that uh, really is related to any achievements or anything. So you can just pick whatever the hell you want. Just makes for a more interesting story. You can be a complete jerk off if you want. I can't do it because I am super nice, obviously. <laughs> super nice. Uh, so yeah, you can just pick what you want. Uh, you can either go along with me or choose the opposite so you can have a view on both stories or both choices. Personally, I would just go for chocolates, but that's because I'm uh, 
fat git with a Vin Diesel dad bod, which makes me Vin Diesel, right? Oh, hear ye. Go with the white bouquet. If you're trying to say sorry. That I am, and that I will. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. Now, there's nothing to actually do in the shop. You can just leave if you want. But what I'm going to do is put the... There's, to the left of us now, there is a garden gnome. We're going to put some sunglasses on him. Uh, purely just for the dialogue that gets spoken after. The pun is so stupid, it's freaking hilarious. So if you interact with him, yeah, these little puns are awesome. My kind of humour. Stupid. Perfect. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh god, please stop. No problem. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, that made me chuckle anyway. I don't know about you guys. So, we can just leave. Now, when we come to... I mean... This first part, there was just a ton of obviously talking and catching up with people and meeting new people. Um, but when it comes to sort of rooms and everything, of course you can have a look around if you want to. Find out more about the story, about why Alex and Gabe got split up and, you know, exactly what happened. But obviously for the purpose of this just being a pure achievement guide, we're obviously just going to go for the main main bit. So if we just need to grab one thing, we'll be grabbing that and then getting the hell out of there. Rather than walking around and um, doing all that jizz magoni. So, just in case you were wondering, it's still a full walkthrough. But I'm not just going around uh, looking at everything and finding out what happened. But, obviously, you're more than welcome to do that. Bald guy, I thought you were talking to me. Oh, here we are. Gabe Chen. Flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. It's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh. Hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. I wanted to turn invisible so bad when I was a kid. Still do sometimes, to be honest. You can get away with anything if you're invisible. And no one can stop you. If you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Aw, oh, man. I shouldn't have told you that. I know we just met, but be careful out there, okay? 
You don't need to worry. Really. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. No way. Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now, which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait, are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? I've seen some cool things so far. Like, this record store is amazing. I didn't expect anything like this here. Yep, it's our cultural landmark for sure. So, the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. <laughs> the National Park Service gave it five stars. <laughs> so, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you... Don't work here? Steph won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Hmm. Damn. I know I 
I saw it before. Want to help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? So then, obviously, as I just said, lots of things we can go ahead and look at. Um, you can uh, hold the right trigger there to move faster. She kind of just does this little walk. You can press the select button, if you want to call it that, to go into your phone. And then you can uh, press left or right bumper there to go into your my block. Or my cock block, as I <laughs> would have preferred that to have been called. Just for the band. Uh, but again, you know, you can have a look at all the text messages. plenty, loads of text messages of different people. Again, if you want to get a bit more of a background on... Uh, certain people and what in the hell's actually going on and of course everyone will remember DJ Steph as well so yeah lots to um lots to dissect already really this isn't just a new thing we, we, we're seeing people we've seen before uh, but it's a uh, pretty you know, pretty obvious isn't it so when when you have a little look through all your phone you don't have to have a look all through that I was just showing you what to do but if we head to the right there is the angry cat we assume he's angry, uh, but we can look at him, and he is looking p -p -p pissed off, as cats usually do. Now, I got uh, press the A button now to move him. You can scare him if you want. That's not going to go down well, though. Um, obviously, this isn't going to work. Now, I got shouted at in my Bear with Robots guide for calling all cats assholes. So, I apologize. All cats are not assholes, of course. They are... God's friendliest fluffy creatures who don't scratch you at all for anything or anyone or anything. They don't like to bite you at all. And they don't even scratch you when they're nice and happy and stick the nails in. Nope, nope, cats are perfectly not bad. So we speak with Ryan right here, the handsomest bastard in all of Haven Springs. Well, I suppose this is the only guy we've seen and we're not going to call our brother attractive yet, do we? Uh, so again, okay, we're going to pick whatever it is for now. A little bit more dialogue is going to happen for the time buying. You're an oxymoron. Whoa. Deep. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. So it's in the junk box directly in front of Ryan, but we need to actually interact with the either the cash register or the metal box or the shelf, any one of those. Uh, we'll just it's go with like the metal box since it's closest to us. Uh, but yeah, Ryan's pretty dull. Instead of just staring at the top shelf there, Ryan, might maybe that's your beautiful long flowing hair. Hmm, let's make me sound rather... Uh... Anyway, if you don't stop looking at the top shelf and actually look at all of the shelves, you might find your stinking cat toy. So as soon as we can then, there we go, in the junk box, just to the right of Ryan's the dong. There we go, that's where we find it. So again, Ryan... Have a look at all of the shelf next time, maybe? C could be just just throwing it out there as a suggestion, so... Hmm. Good guess. <laughs> and there we go. So, we've got that. Now we can go back to cat. On to right. Again. Not cat, I'm not... <laughs> I'll do that again. Press A to interact with him anyway. And that should be good. And like I said... Oh, cats are not assholes. Cats are the best creatures on earth and I absolutely love them and I am not allergic to them and they don't hate me or anything. Um, so, anyway, we've now got the list which we need. So, go ahead, grab the hold list and then you can actually see what uh, albums and what bands that people like. Of course, we're looking for Gabe. And we've got Kings of Leon, which is a very good, a very good shout, actually. One hell of a band. Uh, you don't actually have to read them all, of course. You can just can go straight back out and just give it to Ryan. Of course, another lot of uh, dialogue and cutscenes going to happen. So, well, yeah. Wait. Seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? <laughs> he acted cool, but he was really a big dork. Like, one time he was pretending to stage dive. 
and fell off the bed. Sprained an ankle. It was funny. (laughs) (laughs) You know, you being here is a game changer in the Gabe embarrassing department. All right, you're looking at 20 even. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I've put into this? You just... No, dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. (sighs) It's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had... I can watch the boost if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? Well, you have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls, though. I'll be there. One sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Now, you could be forgiven from the outside thinking that Alex is just, uh, you know, in her safe space i.e. from the uh, South Park episode, my safe space, my safe space. But of course, nobody knows that she has this power that's connected with strong emotions. So if somebody's really pissed off, you bet you're going to kick your ass like I said. Rather than looks like, oh my god, words are hurting me. And all that jazz people are really into apparently these days. Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? You know, talking about bird calls and bird call related media. This guy really loves his birds. Guilty. You know we're trying to keep her in Haven, right? Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. And this dude hands me the best beers? (laughs) Hey, by the way, Mac was in here earlier and uh, he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Take along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. should check in. Do you mind? No, yeah, of course. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Hell yeah. Had a boy. No, we gotta talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's gotta be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kind of want to hang out at home. Is that okay? Do you, man. (laughs) But I'm going to check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capiche. Capiche, good to meet you. Yeah, same. See you around. So weird seeing you do the dad thing. Dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> we trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Shar. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about. And we're coming up to our first big choice of the game. Basically, we're gonna take. We're either gonna tell Gabe where Ethan's really going, or just leave Ethan to his own devices. Um. Again, obviously, all it all it does is, well, as you know, if you played Life is Strange before, 
it will impact either your relationship with a certain character or just a couple of other bits of dialogue will be said. Um, so yeah, I just choose to keep Ethan secret. Obviously, whether that's a right or wrong decision, that's completely up to you. Again, I'm just being nice. But in situations like that, you always lose. Because something always freaking happens. My Calvin and Hobbes fan fiction. Wow. What? What do you say we get you settled in? So, this is what a mining town looks like. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Exactly. What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Sounds like it. Look who it is. Jed! Hey, got someone I want you to meet. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. Buddy hell, will you listen to this horse shit? His boss, he means. You on the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh? Only bad stuff. Mostly lies. Your brother's full of shit, you know that? <laughs> He just about wet himself, waiting for you to get here. <laughs> oh, did he manage to hold it in this time? Good for you, Gabe. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. He tell you about the festival yet? Not in detail? I'll fill you in later. Like, you do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. Oh, before you leave, word of warning. Max got that old bug up his ass again. So I've heard. Yeah, so just, you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. I'll mind, Jed. So, spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before. Now, is it weird that I kind of want to look like Jed when I'm older? He just looks like pure old man rather than, uh, you know, little weak-ass boy. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm not wishing my life away. I'm too young and potentially half handsome for that. Maybe a quarter then. Shit, man. This is all yours? Don't sound so surprised. When you said that you had a nice place, I was picturing small but homey. Well then, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Seriously, this is great. And the best part is, it's actually yours. I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. Gabe, I love it. Good. I mean it. I don't know what to say. You can say thank you. Or maybe you're the best. Or I'm definitely naming my first and third born children Gabriel or Gabriela. <laughs> sure thing. To 
Didn't we already do the whole staring at me thing? It's just... You look a lot like how I imagined you'd be. Yeah? Do I look how you expected? I honestly didn't expect you to have a beard. Oh, well, they didn't tell you? When you move to Colorado, you automatically get an amazing beard, a pretentious knowledge of craft beers, and a Subaru. Funny. I didn't get any of those things. Don't worry, I will stop at nothing to get you your very own Colorado welcome kit. <laughs> Good, because I actually got you something. Wait, what? Surprise. Wait, is this... This is the album I requested. I know, I'm good. I was gonna get this for you. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit. Now, this is the most hilarious part in this whole chapter. Now, of course, what you will hear right now is a Kings of Leon song. I'm not sure which one because I had to uh, mute it in game, obviously copyright reasons. But what's even funnier is... <laughs> I just... I just love it when there's people that are dancing to nothing. You know like those really stupid silent discos? Those silent raves and they put headphones on and everyone's dancing. But there's no sound and it looks ridiculous. Yeah, it's so funny. So bad but so funny. And that's what makes this part funny as well. So they're dancing around, pretending to play guitar, doing all weird stupid dances <laughs> to nothing. It's just so funny to me. And the fact that they've still got the little bits of noises as well, like shoes tapping and that. Ah, that's golden. Golden nuggets, man. <laughs> oh yeah, go get him, bro. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Lifetime of practice! <laughs> Your turn. Fine. to beat <laughs> Just give me a sec. Yeah. Hey, Mac. Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Oh, good. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend! Dude, I promise, you've got it all wrong. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass right now! No. No, 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 not here. No, no, not here! It's not my place, Mac. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking to you! So here we go then, we are now about to witness uh, Alex's first uh, proper roid rage, really. Uh, we're going to call it a roid rage because it's funnier that way. Um, but whatever happens, as you can see there, Alex gets really pissed off. Um, so just go ahead, press the uh, left stick to move up. And then Mac gets his scrawny little ass beaten by a girl. Top job, Al. And Mac just generally reminds you of one of those just punchable dudes anyway. The ones that think they are absolutely solid and they're about seven stone, seven and a half stone when wet. Proper douchebaggery. 
But Jesus Christ, you wouldn't want to get on her wrong side, would you? Oh, and a sucker punch to her brother's face as well. Imagine cheating on her. She would genuinely chop off your dick and feed it to the pigs. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Psycho! You can both go fuck yourselves! I'm so sorry! Don't worry about it! Wait, Gabe. Alex, it's fine. I gotta go stop my shift. Great. I'm okay. Now, I mean, it's pretty nasty, all the cuts and everything, but would you like... I mean, to, to be honest, imagine her in a road rage situation. Jesus Christ, she would get out her inner Tom Stoltman, inner world's strongest man slash woman, and she'd be flipping cars and shit. I guess it would be hilarious to see, mind. But not good for road rage if you got that kind of anger in you. No, no. I guess I might as well unpack. So finally we are coming up to our first out of five collectibles. Like I said earlier in the intro, there are five collectibles in each chapter. Uh, so for a total of 25. And after we just have a look at all the messages here, what we're going to do is walk forward and slightly to the right, head over to the drawer, and if you press the left trigger there, the aura displays, the A button will display, hold the A button, and you will see this new memory unlock. That is what collectibles of course are called in the game memories um, now obviously I did forget to mention obviously earlier that if you press the left trigger by anyone and then hold the A button you can have a look at what actually people are thinking and their emotional state which is mad anyway if you turn directly around from there have a little listen to this conversation plenty of interesting stuff going on as usual but there is a crack in the wall right underneath this stalker poster and raid and do the same thing, left trigger, hold a button, and that will be two achievements and collectibles already collected, so we've got three left to get. So, happy days. Right, now like I said, obviously there are plenty of things around the room to look at if, you wanna, if you're really that invested and interested in the story. Now, for some reason I couldn't leave without opening the bag. I'm not sure if that was actually glitch or anything, so I don't know if it's the same for you, but if you don't want to look around... Have a look to see if you can leave. If not, you'll just have to unpack your bag. Basically, what's going to happen is you're going to unpack a few things, a few cutscenes are going to happen, and then we can actually leave. Snoo snoo. Did she say snoo snoo or shoo shoo? Because that's the smallest snoo snoo I've ever seen. Ah, no, sorry, it was shoo shoo. Man, my head's all up in the gutter. Ethan's really talented.
crazy how much we've changed. No way. Guess Gabe didn't cut out our parents. How mature. Look at them. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. So Mac was reading Riley's text, boyfriend of the year. Ugh. I'll finish this later. No fucking way. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? And here we go again then. So, Alex has obviously all these superpowers, but apparently she has an incredible multi-talented personality as well. She can play guitar and sing while miming. That's unbelievable. She should go on Britain's Got Talent for that, although only douchebags appear on that really, so... Except for the... Ever so gorgeous Susan Boyle. My kind of woman, that. Uh, but yeah, yeah, so just enjoy the song, hopefully on your game, rather than because you, you can't hear a freaking thing on mine. Copyright as hell. But speaking of which, this was actually uh, one of Kings of, uh, Kings of Leon's uh, most favourite hits. The Silent Song, which got to number one everywhere in the world. To be honest, at this point, I don't actually know what she's singing. I was meant to say that joke for the Kings of Leon thing earlier, but I forgot, so... I'm hoping it works now, but if not, then I've just looked like a complete douchebag, so... Go me!
You and your damn surprises, Gabe. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. And there we go, so that one is done. Now we are actually going to leave and head downstairs to bar. Now, we're gonna be in the bar, obviously, for uh, quite a bit now. We've still got around just under an hour here of uh, gameplay and cutscenes and talking left of chapter one. So we're going to go down. Obviously, a little bit more conversation is going to happen because you did just almost break your brother's cheekbone after not seeing him for eight years. Brian, hey, bro, I haven't seen you for a while. How about a broken jaw? Nice. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. Uh. <laughs> so, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? Put some ice on it. I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing. Now you just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Rising, for sure. First day of my new life. Oh, good. I'm glad Max's stupidity didn't ruin everything. <laughs> I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. I know literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. <laughs> Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. <laughs> Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival, and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye. Thanks for supper. Yep. God damn, Jed's nice. I wouldn't mind a, a handsome old guy handed me some free food. Although, probably in that context, it uh, sounds pretty wrong. But, still. Anyway, we, like I said, we've got a couple of things we're going to do in the bar. And there is going to be another collectible to grab as well. So, just enjoy the... Uh, I mean, to be honest, I love pubs like this. Such an, such an old school but very comfortable feel to it. Ah, besides, as long as they sell booze, you don't care where you are, because you'll get shit-faced anyway. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. Couple years' experience as a server? Uh... Maybe not as long as that, but yeah. I've done lots of things. You want to work a shift? See if you might like it here? Sure. All right. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. So then, what we are supposed to do is talk to Ducky and Diane there, but what we're going to do is actually head to the end of the bar first. 
Again, press the right trigger to go a little bit faster, head to the right, go behind the bar, and you're going to see this business card. So, left trigger, hold the A button, and Jason Pike, uh, Officer Fish, which you'll get when you listen to this dialogue now. I think it's hilarious. Another wipeout. Pike is a funny name. <laughs> like the fish. Officer Fish. <laughs> Jason, Pike is my... Holy shit. So, what a town. So, there's Diane, who we're just about to speak to there. Um, that is the complete drunkard calling J Jason Pike Officer Fish. But, head towards Ducky and Diane and press the A button. Now, Ducky is the sort of guy that is just such a happy and nice guy, but he's one of those that... I mean, Ducky does your dicky in. Not literally, of course, but he, um, you know, jokes so much and uh, you just kind of get a bit awkwardly uncomfortable around him. And Diane seems quite normal. Um, yeah. You were coming? Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms. And my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. So we've got a nice easy start to our apparent new job. So let's go ahead and speak to Jedward. No, I wouldn't diss anyone like that, to be honest. So we've got Dicky and Duan. Ah, see, swap the words, makes the names funnier, meh. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, the first one, which is the Y button. And then the second one is, of course, the special pie with fries. So the pie special, number X, there we go, lovely. Not really sure what happens if you get that wrong, but, uh, yeah, you can try and get them wrong again and see if it comes up as a different solution or not. find it. Dicky Ducky's um, bottle, but the first thing we're going to do before we do that is go ahead and chat to Steph. Again, obviously any dialogue options, it's all good, uh, but we're just going to play like a sort of m little mini game in just a bit as well. Steph, honey, you looking good, girl? Okay then, so this is extremely easy. Um, basically, the answer, if you just keep uh, spinning the right bumper button there, the RB, we're going to get to number 11. Uh, while we're this is going on you can actually ask good questions because of course the game is five questions doesn't matter which you choose it is absolutely anyone but this is the correct answer which is number 11 the Fistar Cadelix kiss up and shut me oh that just confused the crap out of me for a second there um but you um, just ask her five questions as soon as she tells you to take a guess press the a button on the Fistar Cadelix so i put it on and dance like crazy to rub it in that doesn't tell me anything. What did you expect? Is there any punctuation in the song title? Nope. Okay. You've got two questions left. Does the band name have a symbol in it? Like something that's not just a letter? Oh. Yeah, it totally does. Nice. Last question. Yeah, all right, I know. Does the band name have a person's name in it? Nope. I also love there that we could have asked her some personal questions. So we've only been speaking for the first time, but uh, I want to know, um, how big is your vagina? I mean, it's as pretty personal as it gets, but uh, I assume that wasn't part of the questions. Hmm, you never know. No punctuation in the song title. No people on the cover. And it... <laughs> oh, 
Fuck. Nice one. <clears throat> Guess I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, thanks for playing. I'm really glad we did. Me too. So, you and Ryan hang out a lot? All the time, except when he ditches me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again, Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Luke and family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he saved- I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? I've heard the term before. Live action role play. It's like a tabletop role playing game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells. It's great. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. I should get back to work. Okay. So, we've checked in on who if you needed to check in. Now, of course, what you're supposed to do with Frank Ducky's bottle is have a look around, look for clues, but what we're going to do is head straight up them wooden piers, the old apple and stairs. <clears throat> there we go, very nice. And basically, um, you know, kind of without spoiling anything or it kind of being a bit underwhelming, the bottle is in the settee. So... <laughs> it's a pretty easy find. Again, if you wanted to, if you ever want to pause the video and have a look around and do it yourself, obviously more than welcome to. Um, oh, what video game is this then? Hmm, let's take a look now. Dino Racer 2 must be a jetalon, must be a jetalon thing that. Um, all EPXR apparently with From Earth to Heaven, we can get every achievement in two minutes. Must be one of those developers. But anyway, interact <laughs> with the couch, and you see the. What the hell does that say? Mockery Bill? Or Knockery Bull? God damn, my eyes are bad. Either way, uh, we pick that up, we go downstairs, we give it to Ducky, everyone has a drink, and everybody's a happy. Found this upstairs. In Gabe's couch? Really? Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. Well, it's my first day working here, so put in a good word for me, okay? <laughs> She's a go-getter. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. To Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. I mean, he does look like the type to be drinking 80% gin and rum and stuff like that. So, all more power to him. Right, the last thing that we got to do is clear up the bottles on the table. Um, which is just in the back room here where the two guys are playing darts. And there's a bit of uh, old Mac. Old, well, we're going to call him Small Mac from now on because he's not McDonald's. Because McDonald's are actually good. He's not Big Mac because he's a scrawny little shitbag. So, we're going to call him Small Mac. And to be fair, if somebody beating the crap out of me like that, I'd be pretty scared of them as well. Um, 
Now, you don't actually talk to Mac directly. You can um, have a look at his emotions by pressing the left trigger and A button. But we're just going to clear the bottles up straight away. And Small Mac is going to talk to us. Probably with his <laughs> penis Holy tucked shit. inside himself through being yeah. super scared. What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Where are you going with this? Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? So you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just, like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. Look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear, this is it. You better have a good explanation or we're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you. About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So, how did the fight happen? Also, we're coming up to our second important big decision. Obviously, we don't know how it's going to impact everything a little bit later on. That's all the um, that's all the fun in the game, right? Uh, but basically, you can either call out Max bullshit and tell Riley the truth, or we're just going to sort of keep the peace for now and just avoid further trouble. Again, I avoid further trouble, but if you want to call out Max bullshit. And obviously, um, so you can have a look at both stories, then that's completely up to you. Whatever you want to do, I just avoided the trouble because I can't be asked. Sure. Next time, Mac, you were getting a fist up the ass, boy. No, no, wait. I can't believe you two. It sounds so childish. I know. I'm sorry. I just get so worked up thinking of you with him. Alex Chen? Uh... So... You were there when your brother assaulted Mac Loudon? I'm Jason Pike, Deputy Sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you and your brother in for questioning. Are you saying I'm under arrest? Your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding. No, nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um... Maybe I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? <sighs> so we're almost done now with the bar area. What we're going to do is just go ahead and speak to Jed. Because he looks like he's kind of brown bread with the beard. Oh, oh damn it! 
My Ryman still sucks ass. But yes, yeah, we can choose to finish much. now. Everything is completely is done. Like uh, no other yeah, collectibles in the bar. That'll be a little bit later on. And again, we've got more cutscenes with Gabe the Abe and Ryan the Fryan Pan. Not awful. Yeah, that's awful. For you? For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. How's your jaw? Is the pain bad? Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... That view, by the way, is the absolute tit. That is just gorgeous. I tell you what, Deck Nine games know how to make some stunning scenery. Do you have a cooler under there? I like to hide beers around the house. Because, well, you never know. You never know what? You just... Never know. So, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I can kick your ass? Yeah, I guess. You know, I never realized what your life must have been like. On your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac, and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Kids in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. And we're coming up to yet again another important decision. We're either going to tell him about our past 
or we're going to tell him about our powers. Now, for me, I tell him about the powers anyway. I just think that's easier to let people know, right? Then they'd obviously be a bit more understanding of why you beat the crap out of Small Mac and cry hard when other people cry hard. Well, you'd think you would, but who knows? If it makes me money, then I'm all up for it. If I had those superpowers. There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened for a long time. Like Mac, I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you, he's angry at himself. He thinks he's going to lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No. No one told me that. I just... feel it. sure it's not just, you know? It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds or stress or trauma or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? It doesn't work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. Oh. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> Getting beat up and having no friends? That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. I mean, that's, that's really special. Special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. Tell me about the guitar. Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. 
Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Hey. Is Ethan up here? No. He was heading home. He was, but... I haven't seen him in a while. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan, he told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move. Now. Okay, let's go. So remember that was from our first important choice there, so Gabe... <laughs> Not only do we have we broken his jaw almost, that's a great looking mountain, um, but we've also lied to him already. So that's a great start to your to your eight year relationship where you haven't seen each other from. Good start, Alex. Well done, Jen. Although technically that was our doing, but but still. Ethan! Come on, pick up, pick up. Alex. This way. since I was up here. You don't do your ranger stuff around here? Private land, outside of my jurisdiction. Dad brought me up here a bunch when I was little, though. I was his miner in training. <laughs> that was back before mining meant blowing the tops off mountains. Any luck? And touch base with the safety team up at the site. We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh, at least we're not racing the clock. Hey, you good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? I should have... said something earlier. I didn't... I mean, when he said he was going to the old mine... Alex, it's fine. You couldn't have known. It's not your fault. Yeah... still, though. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can... do that? How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? So this is the final area of the chapter. Remember, we've got two collectibles to grab. So, first thing we're gonna do, take a little jog forward, have a look at the boys going towards the gate. There is a uh, Michael Jackson thriller zombie, kind of forgot to pack up and leave. Um, but if you go slightly to the left, next to these dustbins, or whatever the hell they are, there are two helmets. Again, press the left trigger, hold the A button, and have a look at this helmet that will give us the head count achievement. Oh, God! Oh, God, we're alive! Is that everybody? And then from here, what we need to do then is just interact with the sign on the gate. And again, we're going to get a little bit more of a cutscene of where we think uh, Ethan has nipped off to. Of cave in, bunch of trapped miners, all nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God, 
Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look, then. So, this is kind of like a little puzzle thing that's happening. Now, I say it's kind of like a little one. It's very, very easy. So, if you want to know where you're going, uh, press the left bumper and then just go left or right in the D-pad. And you know when you're on the right track when Alex says something. Um, so, it's very easy to distinguish. We're going to need to compare the zombie, first of all. Uh, if you do compare something else, uh, Alex basically just says there's nothing to compare it to. So, you can't really go wrong. There's nothing that'll tell you anyways. Uh, but every time the comic book comes up, you can just press the B button to go back. And Alex will automatically give us some dialogue. Right, the next thing we're going to then, ignore the campfire, that's got nothing to do with it. We're going straight in front of us to the open gate where it says, Julie McNamara is a... What was that? A fucking skunk? Well, oh my god, somebody doesn't like Julie McNamara. Just because she gave you the aid, son, you know. Stuff happens sometimes, you know. Also, just realised that said, uh, Julie McNamara is a effing skunk, which, uh, I mean, the AIDS connection would be a little more... Uh, would make a little bit more sense. Uh, not a skunk. <laughs> I don't know. You can guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. <sighs> you figured that out from a comic book. I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. So here we go then, let's get the final collectible of the chapter. Like I said, there's no missable, so you haven't missed anything and you won't miss anything. But if you turn directly around from where we start, have a look at the phone, left trigger, hold a button, that is gonna get us two achievements here. The emotional enthusiast, which is for basically collecting all collectibles in the first chapter. And we are going to get the incredibly titled phone achievement for looking at the phone. i tell you what, they uh, spent some time coming up with that pissing name, didn't they? Uh, now, a little bit of conversation or whatever's going to happen here. You've got to have a look around, but we're just going to compare the stairs. Because, of course, as you can see on page uh, four, I think, four or five, whichever one. Um... But that's what you need to do before you compare. Sure Have a look at the comic book, and there we go. Just press the A button there to move the metal sheet. Now, as it says there, so if you're having a chat with someone, you can actually press the right bumper to swap between choices and objects. So if you are uncomfortable answering a question, you can just pass on it to somebody else, which is always handy and good, great little addition. So up the stairs, go left slightly, and then up these next set of steps. If we head to the right, we are going to see a window. You don't actually have to look out of the window, but uh, again, gives us a little good indication. The silo, that is what we're after. Literally, you could probably just climb up there, but if we head to the right, we are going to take a look and compare with the uh, belt.
Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. So, when we turn around, make sure before you go back down, have a look at the chain hook, interact with that one, and then we can head all the way back to stairs. Back to downstairs. You figured out the door. Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? Will wonders never cease? And there's only one real path that we can go, so head to the stairs directly all the way to the right, doing a 90 degree angle, or 180 degree, oh god damn, I forget my degrees. And then just keep heading to the right, and then we can just duck out underneath the uh, half open door. Again, have a chat with Ryan and have a look at other things if you so wish, but we're just going to nip outside, and we're going to see Gabe the Abe. What took you so long? That doesn't make any sense, but I don't give a fake. You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Where to next, Alex? Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. We close? Think so. Ethan! 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 Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. Don't! Don't, 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 don't! His fear is so strong. If I get near it... It's no good. We're too heavy. about me Alex uh, are you sure remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay awesome show me Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. You sure? It's okay if you're not. No, I'm good. You know, I actually believe you when you say that. <laughs> Alex. Can you make eye contact with me? 
I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady, steady's fast. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. So somehow silly little Ethan has got himself trapped and he is off his nut right now, which to be fair I would be as well. Um, but again, we're going to get a little conversation thing. You can actually press the right bumper if you just want to move it on. Or if you want to um, choose a, a, a different choice of dialogue or whatever. Uh, but just keep slowly walking forward. Try to balance Alex as best you can. Don't actually think you can fall off. I assume not. Uh, but obviously just be careful anyway. Real close. Just a little further. Hey, Ethan. I'm here to help, okay? No! Get away! Shit. It's too much. I have to get him to chill out. <sighs> Ethan, I need you to calm down. Can you breathe for me? I should never have come out here! I was so stupid! Okay, hey, hey focus. Talk to me. You want to tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. The log fell. That's fine. That's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. Gabe's got us. We're not gonna fall. He's got the other end of the rope. No, I can't move if I move. You're not gonna fall, buddy. It doesn't matter. He's not making any sense. I need him to calm down. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to- It'll see me! If I move, it'll see me! What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to- Well, I bet when Alex had this power, she didn't expect to be in situations like this now, did she? Man, that must do your head in, really, if you can't interact with someone. Uh, hold the A button, keep holding, vibrato like hello. And eventually I get there, yeah. So just keep going, it's not going to work for the time being, so we have to have a look at a few uh, things around the environment. But of course we get him across. Or do we? Does everyone die? By the way, Alex's shit 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 dialogue is basically what women uh, used to say to me when we went on a first date. The look of disappointment was super unreal. That would happen and they'd be like, right, I'm going to the toilet now and wouldn't come back. Such shame. Of course, <laughs> that didn't really happen. I'm gorgeous. So there are three items to look at here. We're going to look at the monster claws first on the wall. Whatever order, literally doesn't matter. Of course, it's that much of a chilled game apart from this part. Um, but you've got the monster claws on the wall, and then you can press the B button. I think you've got to press the B button now to sort of back out of it. Um, no, actually, just completely lying to you. You can actually just uh, look down, and then we're going to look at the backpack and the magazines. Again, no matter the order, just look at everything, and then obviously more dialogue is going to appear. It's real, it's real. I brought all this stuff. None of it will save, it will me. save me. Okay. He's not afraid of the fall. He's afraid of... Oh, shit. Can't let it see me. Can't let it see me. It can't be real. Oh, but it looks pretty fucking real. Hey. Hey, I see it too, Ethan. The monster? 
I see it too. And I'm just as scared as you are. But Ethan, we're safe. You know why? It can't see me. Bangle of vanishing, just like Ninth Warden. I thought that was just a story. Hell, some stories are true, like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Don't look down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. And head it back. Keep tight on the belay, Gabe. Not over yet. Oh god. Okay. One, I mean, to be fair, man, that is a scary ass looking monster thing. Um, but again, we're just going to be careful. This bit's going to take roughly around two minutes. Um, but just keep carefully going across the log. Again, really don't think you can fall off, but just in case. Yeah. Me too. But we can do this. One step at a time. Okay. Do you think the log will break? Don't worry. I got all the way across before, remember? It could still break! Shit. Alex's um, awkward smile, her, everyone's teeth in this game looks fantastic, um, but her awkward smile, she's out, she's all good, and everyone's happy, all's well that ends well, right? Right? Unluckily there, so Gib just gets whacked by a boulder, heads down, and well, who knows, he's pretty much dead. Or is he? <laughs> no, he's pretty dead. He just got whacked by a boulder. Uh, Brian does save our life, but again, unfortunately, our brother is dead, and I just ate that. I can't tell you the emotional attachment I got to Gabe already, but still, tis what it is. Now, people are going to call it an accident. Of course, we know it's not. We're going to find out what's going to happen in Chapter 2. But this is the end of Chapter 1 then, guys and gals. Like I said, five chapters. I will try and get all chapters up as soon as possible for you. 
And again, what's going to happen is you're going to see um, what people have done and what, what you've done in compared to other people. But thank you so, so much for watching this thing, guys. Absolutely awesome game. Hope you've enjoyed the game and the guide so far. A big shout out to everyone on Patreon for the continued support and for the continued support from everyone as well. Uh, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe and share as well if uh, you find any of my videos helpful, especially this one. But thank you so, so much again, guys and gals. And I will see you in chapter two. Big love.